In this lesson today we're going to talk about different types of triangles. So here we go. The first type of triangle is called an equilateral. Equilateral means that all three sides are the same length and all three angles are the same. Okay? Isosceles says that two sides are the same and two angles are the same. Isosceles. Scaling is, is a very strange one. All sides are different. All angles are different. So there's all different types of scalings that you can do. All angles are different and all lengths of the sides are different. Okay? Now let's also talk about some angles since we're going to be figuring some angle size on some triangles coming up. If you have an acute angle, that would be an angle that is less than 90 degrees. So anything less than 90 will be called acute. If you have a right angle, which makes our little L and makes our box, a right angle is exactly 90 degrees. And then our obtuse angle is anything beyond 90 degrees. Anything more than 90 degrees will be considered obtuse. And then we also have the, what we refer to as the straight or the straight angle. A straight angle is 180 degrees. If You may not be aware of this, but we need to go ahead and mention it now. It doesn't matter what kind of triangle you have. If you were to take any triangle, and let's say we'll unlock it right up here and fold it out, all triangles, when you unlock them and pull down the sides, will equal up to a straight 180. So in a little bit, we'll be able to determine, uh, given some angles, some missing angles as well, okay? Now, let's take a look over here. In addition to calling triangles equilateral, isosceles, and scalene, we can also identify them by the type of angles that they have. So let me go over here and show you three different sets of numbers that I have. The first one is 55, 65, and 60. Now this does, hopefully, adds up to 180. Do you notice that all of the angle sizes are less than 90? So we could call this, in addition to any of these others that it might be, we could call this, just from the looks of the angles, an acute triangle. When you look at the next one, we have a 90, a 40, and a 50. That adds up to 180, but I clearly see that we have one right angle. So we can say that this is a right triangle. And then on the bottom one, we have 120 degrees, 40, and 20, which also adds up to 180. But do you notice that one of them is well past the 90 degree mark? So we could refer to this as an obtuse triangle. So a triangle can be identified both by the type of angles that it has and also it can be identified by how many sides and angles are the same. So just keep that in mind. All right. Now I'm going to show you how to find a missing angle when two sides are given. Okay, let me go ahead and erase this. All right, we'll start with something nice and easy. Let's say that we have this triangle now, even if I didn't put 90, you would know that that was a 90, but I'll put 90 degrees. Okay. Now, if that is 90 degrees, and I tell you that this one is 45 degrees, we're going to figure out what this missing angle is right here. And the way we do that is, you remember I just told you that if you unfold the triangle, it will make a straight, which is a 180. So. If we were to add up the two angles that I gave you, and then what do you think we should do? Add up the two angles and then subtract from 180. So if I have 90 and 45, well actually I'm subtracting, let's try that again. If I have 90 and 45, I'm going to have a 135. And if I subtract 135 from 180, then it looks to me like we're going to have another 45 degree angle. Okay, so I'm going to put a 
45 degrees right there. So as long as you know 2, you can add the 2 together and then subtract from 180. Okay? Now without a picture, I'm going to give you 2 angles and you're going to find the third one. Okay, I'm going to say that we have a triangle. I don't know what kind of triangle it is, but we have a triangle and one side uh, has an angle of 61 degrees. Another side has 28 degrees and I'm looking for the missing angle. Okay, what's the plan? The plan is let's add the two sides that we have. So let's go ahead and do that. 61 and 28, which makes 89. And what are we going to do next? We're going to subtract that from 180. So here's our 180. Take away the 89 that we know. And it looks like we're going to have that third angle is going to be a 91 degree angle. And you can prove that. Just add up the three angles. And if you get to 180, then I'm, I think we're pretty good. All right, let's try another one, please. This time I'm going to give you uh, a 34 degree angle and a uh, 103 degree angle. And we're going to figure out what the third angle is. You ready? Okay, let's start adding up these two. 103 and 34 is 137. And when we take 137 from 180, looks like we're going for 43 there, aren't we? Okay, so we have 43 degrees. Okay, good job. Now, I want to talk to you also about, um, about angles. Let me erase some of this so I can show you something here. Okay. I'm just going to draw a couple angles here. We'll label this A, B, C, D, and E. I want to talk about uh, two or three words here. The first word I want to talk about is vertical. Vertical angles. Now, I know vertical means up and down, but in this particular case, vertical can mean up and down or left and right. Vertical here means opposite, opposite angles, okay? So I can tell you that this big angle, A, E, C, and B, E, D, are considered vertical angles because they are opposite one another. I can also tell you that A, E, B, and C, E, D are also vertical angles. They are opposite angles, okay? Now, another word that I want to present to you is adjacent, okay? Adjacent, let me give you an example. Let's say, let me erase this so you don't have to look at that, okay. Let's say that I am living in this area right here, which is AEC, and you live right next door to me, and we share a front yard fence. We are next door neighbors, therefore we live adjacent to one another. Let's say you live here, and your ne other neighbor lives right over here. The two of y'all live adjacent to one another because you share a fence between you. So we can go around if you live here, and I live right here. They are adjacent because we share a fence. But there's also something interesting about this particular picture and these two um, friends that live next door to each other. Do you notice, if I take this one and this one, do you notice that when these two adjacent angles come together, they end up making a straight line? So when we have two that come together, we refer to that as supplementary. So not only are these two angles adjacent to one another, they are also supplementary because they make a 180. Okay, now in addition to that, let's see what we can do. 
um, I'm going to show you some angles and I'm going to ask you what the supplementary angle would be, knowing that supplementary means 180. Okay? All right. Okay, let's say that I have a big O angle and that obtuse angle is 150 degrees. Now, if I ask you what the supplement or what the supplementary angle is for that, since supplementary means 180, I'm going to go ahead and draw out my line. How much more to get to 180? So what I'm asking is, what would the supplement angle be to make these two come together to make a 180 degree or a straight line? So I know I'm going for 180 because that's what supplementary means. I already have the 150, so I can just subtract. And the angle to make this a supplementary angle would be 30 degrees. So supplementary means how much more to get to the 180. Let's try another one. Okay, let's say this time that we have just a 60 degree angle. And I'm asking you for the supplement of that angle. Well, supplement means 180 straight line. And we already know 60, so we have to find out how many more degrees to get to 180. So let's take the 180, let's subtract the 60 that we already know, and we're going to end up with a supplementary angle of 120, because the two come together to make 180. All right? Let's try one more. Now, I can tell you that's a 90 degree angle. I don't really have to, do I? Okay, so I'm just going to do this. All right, I want to know the degrees to get a supplementary angle. You know that's 90, so I'm not going to put 90. There's your angle right there. How much more to get to 180? I don't even have to put that on the board, do I? It's going to be just like the, uh, the first side. It's going to be 90 degrees, isn't it? 90 degree angle. 90 degree angle adds up to 180. Now, there's another term that we want to talk about, very similar to supplementary, and that term is complementary. Okay, if you want to find the complement of an angle, this time we want everything to add up to just 90. Okay, so complementary is going to add up to 90. Supplementary always adds up to 180. All right, let me give you an angle. Let's say that we have, uh, I'll say that that is a 70 degree, 70 degree angle. Now, if I say to you what is the complement of that 70 degree angle, what I want to know is how much more in the way of an angle do I have to go to get to the 90? And in this case, 70 and how much more is equal to 90? 20 is correct. So the complement of the 70 degree angle is 20 degrees. Okay? All right, let's try another one. Let's say that we have, oh, a real skinny one, like 10 degree angle. 10 degree angle. And I want to know the complement of that 10 degree angle. And since complement means 90, and 90 is a, is a right angle, 10 and how many more add up to 90? 10 and 80 degrees add up to 90. Okay, so in this lesson, we've talked about the different types of triangles based on the size of the angle, or the, size, or the, um, the sides and the angles. We've talked about um, how to identify an acute, a right, or an obtuse triangle. We discussed that triangles, when taken apart, add up to 180. We found missing angles when two sides were given. And then we finished up by talking about supplementary angles, which add up to 180, and complementary angles that add up to 90. I think that will do it for learning about all different types of triangles. Mm -hmm.